Bye. Imagine a world where creatives always have a key to the city. Use promo code 3PLAY and get three signature notebook ones for only $20. That's T-H-R-E-E-P-L-A-Y. This and more are available exclusively at KNEWAmsterdam.com. NewAmsterdam.com. Welcome, citizen. Welcome to Crime Crazy, the weekly true crime podcast with Erin Pline and Jordan Middleton, where we prove that we know nothing about our legal system, but we have lots of opinions and mm -hmm. we are still crazy for a good true crime story. Woo! Woohoo! We did it first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hi, hi. I figured if we started with you know what we're supposed to start with, then we don't have to worry about forgetting to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's normally how it goes, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> well, and then I also sort of figure that now we'll have a brief conversation about something, and then I'll be like, oh, "Welcome to." Oh no, wait, we did that. Yeah. And we, no, wait, what's happening? Welcome again. Thank you right. for staying with us. <laughs> and I am one sip into my stay not tuned. quite beer. So <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, it's cider. Oh, is it like a flavor? Apple. Oh, I didn't. Cool. Now they have like rosé and like weird flavors and like gotcha. the cherry ones and so this one is virginia apple specific yes i um really like bold rock on tap at bush gardens so that's my favorite thing to get Ooh, it yeah bush gardens so got exponentially crisp. better when they introduced drinking <laughs> yes the wine festival thing it's like wine and beer festival mm -hmm. and it's like wines from around the world type of thing or well beer too but that's the more important one so you go and you have like a little punch card and you get like a sampler at all these places mm -hmm. or you could just go and buy a whole cup of beer because that's what you really want right. because you're at bush gardens and it's like a million <laughs> degrees outside right so i went with a bunch of friends last year and we all got a different beer and then we would all try it mm -hmm. and then we would switch if we didn't like it and it's like having a flight but with lots of backwash yes it was great <laughs> but by the like by the second booth everyone was feeling it yeah and we're all like this is great is this a watermelon beer okay i'll try it <laughs> it was watermelon crazy watermelon beer sounds awful one I, one it wasn't watermelon but one was crazy it was like blackberry something and then that I sounds like, less awful i don't i swear there was a watermelon one but maybe it was like not an actual beer when I was maybe in middle school, maybe in high school, I don't know. We lived in, in the house before the house, before this one. Anyway. Okay. Um, we had a cooler and we stuck a watermelon in it, like the leftover of a watermelon, like whatever we didn't yeah. eat when we were eating off the beach or, mm -hmm. or something like that. And it got forgotten. Oh my. And my dad and sister carried it out to the goat pen and like dumped it. But it, it was so bad. Like, they were gagging the whole way. Oh, I bet. But we could smell it from the house. It was just... Uh. And so that's all I can think is, like, that's what watermelon oh, no. beer is. It was just, like, a little hint afterwards. Like, right. a, just a little watermelon. Anything lemon, I'm always like, can I have the lemon? Mm -hmm. I, Larry's Lemonade or, like, Shandy's. I'm like, can I have that one? <laughs> that one's for me. I'm a sucker for that now. So, um, so I... I have this story for you okay and it requires an explanation and <laughs> i have a pun I, you know what it has been a day of puns <laughs> when i published... i liked my pun i told you earlier I don't about the it. apple a day <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah throw it. <laughs> so when i published the last podcast there was a pun oh there was yeah i talked about drugs getting you into sticky oh, situations oh right 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 and then That's one funny. of our professional development things at our team meeting today was yeah. we all had to come up with a pun. What was your pun then? Um, it was, what pun did I do? Fibonacci's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was great. But I, I may have also given Diana a fuck unicorn. <gasps> <laughs> That's funny. So. That's funny. Well, I can't tell you my title because then it gives away everything. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll save it for later. But do you, so you can't tell me the pun? Well, the title, well, yeah, because it'll give it away. Okay. Because that's what makes it funny. So okay. this happened like weeks ago. Oh, recent. And by weeks ago, I mean like on the 20th of February. 
Wow. So like super recent. Yeah. And I was scrolling on my phone one late, late night and I had like one eye open, but like when you wear glasses, when you take them off, you really can't see. So your face is smushed and you have your phone on your face to see because <laughs> I really, I can't see. So I'm scrolling and I was like, oh, that looks like a news story. And I was like, whoa. So I just saved it. I didn't even read it. I literally just looked at the picture and judged it. Oh, and I saved like, it. We're doing that one. And then last night you were like, oops, we have to record tomorrow. Oh my God. So yep. I said, you know, by what? the way, double kudos for like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I said in the back of my head, I was like, you know what? You have a story and you know what? You're going to do it no matter what it is. <laughs> so thank God it actually ended up being interesting because right. if not, this was about to be a really shitty ass episode for right. me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it was interesting. So thank you late night scrolling on facebook um i <laughs> love that story already <laughs> oh man that's me all the time though and then i'm definitely one of those people that like drops the phone and it smacks me in the face i did that but i can't time. see it coming because i can't see it the glasses <laughs> off. so it's just like all of a sudden it's just like wow it's getting really close but um okay i'm starting <laughs> okay i'm ready so three men had this two-year plan which sounds romantic but it's not um to rob an armored truck that is a hell of a commitment. Two years planning this out. Do we have any idea what the average take is from an armored truck robbery? I don't and know. is it significantly more than they would have made if they had just all three worked full time jobs for two years? Oh yeah, no. Because if you rob an armored truck, you're more likely to get caught than going to work right. and not living your life in jail. Talk um, about expending your energy in useless ways, right? So they picked this one specific truck route that picked up a large bank run from a PNC bank in Port St. Lucie, which is in Florida. Okay. So these three men, they are named Daryl Canada. Mm, I don't feel bad when I mispronounce like bad guys names, but okay. Mm, but AKA doo doo. That was his nickname. Of course. Yeah. I now can. I'm going to get a message uh doo doo blah 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 and i'm not gonna have any clue what it is <laughs> doo doo yeah i was like reading it and was like ew i would be like can we change my nickname like write <laughs> anything else please <laughs> um and then there was alger elson mm -hmm. and then i think it's martavius williams oh. aka man 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 just man man um, yep. And they're Did all... the middle one have a nickname? No. He was Doodoo Elson. Al Alger Elson. And Man. Man. Yeah, I guess the other one was the new kid, so he didn't get a nickname yet. <laughs> um, and they was... all lived in Palm Beach County. So, <laughs> I'm so impressed with these guys already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Doodoo, -doo, which I will call him Canada because I'm not gonna... Call him doo doo. Yeah. I approve. <laughs> Canady, Can Canada. Let's just call him Daryl. I like Is that it name. C A N A D A Y? Can Canady? Hold on. Let's see. Can uh -huh. Addy. Can Addy? Yeah. I guess I'm saying Canady. like, like I'm from like, I don't know. Canada. I'm like, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Let's get into the plan. <laughs> I'm losing my shit, guys. I'm so sorry. She's I'm so, so tired. tired. <laughs> I don't know how I'm keeping it together. Um, if I start crying randomly, that's how you know I've lost it. <laughs> That'll be during my story. Pretty much. So, <laughs> let's get through mine so we can get to the, like, the heart of this episode. Um, so these men planned out to steal $4 million from the truck, which we mentioned. So that was how much they were planning to take. You asked earlier, and I knew I had it, but I didn't mm -hmm. know where. That's where. Um, and they said, um, like the article said that they had plans to shoot and kill, um, the truck driver. Like, Ooh. so not everyone was in on this, uh, mm -hmm. thing. So that is significantly more than they could have possibly earned. Yes, I suppose. But Hey, um, and then they decided that if the first round was successful, then they would go for another truck and do it again. Yes, because if you win the lottery one time, you are definitely much more likely to win it a second 
I was literally like, that's asking for it. Right. That's like, you know how we did it great the first time? Let's do it exactly the same way because the right. cops won't expect that. They won't figure out the pattern. Yep. So um, they did complete a dry run five days prior to like the real go was supposed to happen, um, which if you want to know, oh, my God, how they knew all that. <laughs> um, I guess I don't think Aaron. Did you see the lights flash? Yes. Oh, okay. I was because Dave and I are like, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. No. See, and there's nothing going on right now. Last episode, rain. we had to yeah. rush through so the power wouldn't That's go out. That's why I said, oh my god. Like, I don't think I have the energy to rush. <laughs> no. Um, okay. And I have a lot to say. <laughs> right so do you want to know how they knew all of this because the fbi safe streets task force that's a thing had an undercover informant on the inside so that's how they knew about how much money they were going to get and that's how they knew about shooting people informant on the inside yep in the heist. He was a part of the plan. Was he the one without the nickname? No. Of course he wasn't in the paper. He's not a bad guy. He was working for the feds. So there was a fourth guy? Mm-hmm. But we don't get to know his name. Well, because... no. Safety reasons. Obviously. Duh. Duh. So, Daryl, mm-hmm. our mm-hmm. doo-doo man, um, told the informant that two of the three uh, Loomis truck driver people employees were a part of the plan so there were actually several people in on this okay so well i mean um, that so now how many people are part of this so, plan because we're oh, gonna have to okay no so several decrease. as far as everyone who was i mentioned earlier was a part of the plan as far as on the inside of the truck like they were they were in the plan but they were also working for the company it wasn't like they were just gonna pick a truck and try to take him down this is the so specific the guys truck who going to re- they were also working yeah so okay. they it worked like for this their company time job was to figure out how to rob these traps oh no they were working for the company and i think that's why they picked this plan okay so all right it yep. all falls into place yep so the guard that's in that's like in the back of the truck i don't know i'm mm-hmm. just, I've never been in one, guys, so whatever. Um, so he was definitely in on the plan. The driver of the truck was not. And then the oh. other guard, because there's usually three, that's what okay. I'm learning, um, was said nothing. to be a part of the plan. So that one was uncertain. So driver, no. Guard, yes. Other guard, maybe. Um, Daryl said that the guard would give the informant the bags of money to load in, of course, another stolen car. And then Daryl said that he would just go shoot the driver because like he and they knew it was a woman and they didn't mention any names because I don't know why. But, you know, right. So that was the that's when the talks about the second guard, if he was involved in it or not. But then they revealed later on that Daryl planned on killing him along with the female driver. So that's why it was kind of like. Was he a part of it or not? It was a kind of like his word against ours yeah. type of thing. But I'll touch back on that in a minute. So this is when, well, their shit hits the fan. <laughs> okay. um, the Because they had the informant, obviously they knew what day everything was going to go down because mm-hmm. he knew everything. <sighs> I didn't last very long. I don't know, you're making me on. Sorry. Um, okay, so the arrests were made on their way to the heist. And it was on I-95 southbound lanes. <laughs> and it was about 9 a.m. in okay. Martin County. Uh, and this was on the 20th of February. Okay. I think I said that earlier. So I, I approve of the fact that they arrested them before, you know, they got around to killing the lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? So um, when I was reading it, I was like, well, if you knew it was going to happen, like, why didn't you really plan for that? But I guess they did. They were like, we're going to take them down right before they think they're going to get somewhere. And right. that will be the safest be, way. They have to be starting. I but think, you have to do it before there's a potential yeah. for anyone to get hurt. So the officers shut down part of the interstate to keep other drivers from entering. 
which I was like, that's kind of crazy. I've only ever seen that happen one time for like a really, really bad fatal accident. They shut oh, down yeah. a part of like yeah. 64. So I was like, whew, okay. Um, so the men surrendered easily and they, um, oh my gosh, this picture has to be the picture for this story. Okay. I'm so look it up while you're saying it. What is it? It is, um, it's like their takedown picture I counted, and just the picture I had, there were 20 cars, like, behind the stolen car that they were all in. Like, like 20 police that, cars? Like, undercover police cars, cruisers, trucks. Um, nice. Oh, it was crazy. Oh, and I can't get this open. So, authorities... Well, here, I'm looking it up. Um, this was the part I wanted to tell you about the other guard. Authorities had every reason to believe that they were going to... Um, kill that third or that that guard the second guard that they thought was in on it or not okay. as like witness elimination because even though he knew they were going to get him to help them load the cash and then kill him right so right that's... well and then they wouldn't have to share with him either because then you could have 667 thousand did you just do the math well, yeah, I was doing it on my phone while you were talking. Oh, my Instead God. of half a million dollars each. Well, um, you are not kidding about this oh, did you amazing find picture. Holy smokes. Is this the one you're looking at? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> it's nuts. So um, let me read this to you. Oh, there goes my pen. Um, this is a quote from the Martin County Sheriff. His name is William Snyder. It says, it was our SWAT team, our special operators, our armed personnel carriers, our helicopter and our stop sticks, which are kind of like spikes. Oh, to yeah, get them yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which were ready to use, but they didn't need to use them anyways. But uh, anyway, um, that ultimately concluded. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ahead mm -hmm. of myself. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm so like trying to rush. That ultimately concluded in a successful arrest with no injuries of anybody. Like, so they weren't hurt. No police personnel was hurt. Everything was fine. They were arrested easily. Um, considering they had the informant on the inside, they, they were probably like all arrested except for him. And they're probably like, <gasps> so, well, do you know what I mean? Like, was it a was big he, reveal? Was he undercover? Yeah. Well, so he wasn't just somebody who then was like cooperating with the police, but he was actually employed by the police? Yeah, no, I I think he was a part of the FBI sh Safe Street Task Force because I kept okay. saying blah, 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 informant. So I'm assuming he worked with the FBI. Well, I mean, he could have been a fake arrested informant. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I was going to say, if he's undercover or even if they just wanted to keep him safe, like if they, they probably would have arrested him also. Yeah. But like, what does that matter? Because it's not like any news article now. It doesn't say four well, yeah, men. It says three men. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they were all arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit a robbery. Um, they were working on um, something about because he did admit that Daryl, the main guy, um, about his plan to kill the other two, um, the, like the driver and the guard. So right. um, I think they're working on getting some charge there and um they are actually in federal custody which i was like a little sh like a county sheriff had to deal with it a bunch of other small counties around had to deal with right. it the fbi was in on it and now they're in federal custody because the truck delivered to a bank or was picking up from a bank and that's I, a federal yeah thing that's really fascinating and all because i was scrolling late night and my is that the picture that you saw that you were like, oh, let's do this? Um, yes, actually. And I have already set it as the featured image on the podcast. We have not finished recording yet. I'm glad. Because <laughs> it was either that one or that one. Oh, yeah. Mine is at a slightly different angle than either of those, but it still shows all the cars. And I, I watched the amazing. helicopter video a lot. And it's just, I don't know. It's just insane. There's at least 30 cars in this image. And if you watch the helicopter video, other cars zoom up past it, like as if they were like trying to block it in front of it. Right. Also, the car they stole, just looking at this video, because they didn't mention what kind of car it was or anything. It's like, a, not a sports car, but like a muscle car. Yeah. 
It's like yeah. a Challenger, just so everybody I, well, knows. And is there like a like an army truck? Oh, well, maybe the SWAT. I guess yeah, it's probably the SWAT, but it's like giant. Yeah. I guess it's SWAT. That would make a whole lot more sense than army, but you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. But I just like that it's like a Challenger, and there's supposed to be four grown men in there. Like, there's no leg room in the back of those. Like, no, a two it's door coupe. Like, right. <laughs> no. Mike and I got one on a vacation one time, and I hated it the whole time. And when we dropped it off at the rental, they're like, "So did you like it?" I'm like, "I hated it when you tried putting us in it when we left, and then it was the only car left, so we had to take it." So, no, I didn't right. like it. I hate this car. Everything about it sucks. I'm super opinionated. <laughs> But yeah, so that was my. That is really fascinating. They closed down the interstate. Everyone was affected. It was yeah. ninety five too. Everybody was pissed. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Crime Crazy. We hope that you enjoyed listening as much as we enjoyed making it. If you like our show, please tell a friend, or better yet, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes or your favorite podcasting app. We really appreciate your feedback and want to give you a shout out on the next episode if you leave us a review. If you leave us a review somewhere other than iTunes, just let us know. If you loved our show, consider donating to our Patreon. We have lots of great surprises that we want to share with anyone who supports us. And let's be real, it's really just an excuse to send you cool stuff. Thanks again, and remember, even though we really have no idea what we're talking about, we'll be back next week to talk about it all over again.